Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? How are you? Good, so, so tired. Mm -hmm. How was your day? Today so, was so. a good day. Okay, so, so says George, Alexandra, it was a good day. Okay, what about your weekend? Good, did you rest? Good teacher. Good, okay, excellent. All right, guys. Well, we are going to start with uh, our class. Okay, we have new information to cover. We are going to study a lot and we are going to learn different things. Okay, so today we are going to start with unit seven and we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, we have vocabulary. Okay, so the grammar part that we are going to cover today is going to be a simple present, short answers. And we also have a quiz. Okay, so. Unit seven is, does it have a view? That's the name of unit seven. And to begin with, we are going to start with vocabulary. So guys, as you can see right here, we have a couple of pictures, yeah? So for each picture, we have the name. Uh, the first one is going to be, this one is a house, okay? So number two is a flat. And what is the meaning of flat? Uh, apartamentos. Apartamentos, okay, very good. Apartamentos, flats. And then we also have town, the town. What is the meaning of the town? Pueblo. Pueblo, okay, very good. Pueblo. And then we also have city. So the city is ciudad. where we live, yes. Es la ciudad donde nosotros vivimos, okay? The city. So what about uh, countryside? What is the meaning of countryside? Condado. Eh, no, the, the countryside, guys, es el campo. Okay? So the town... Okay, so the town is pueblo y countryside campo, el campo, yes? Then we also have sea, mountains, and neighborhood. What is the meaning of neighborhood? Vecindario. Vecindario, okay? So how do you say vecindario? Neighborhood, okay? Neighborhood, yes? Okay. Um, Alexandra, help us reading A, B, Edwin, C, and D, and Jose Alejandro, letter E. Okay. Three. Yes. Do you live in a house or a flat? Do you live in a town or a city? Okay. Uh, do you live in the countryside? Mm -hmm. Uh, letter D, do you live near the sea or the mountains? Very good. Okay, do you like your neighborhood? Okay, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood. Excellent, like that. Okay, so now let me ask some of you. Uh, Maria, Maria Vilma, do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a house. Very good. Cindy Stephanie, do you live in a town or a city? I live in a city. Very good. Mario Ernesto, do you live in the countryside? Repito eso. Yes. Do you live in the countryside? Do you, do you live in the countryside? In the countryside. countryside. Yes. Uh, but he, okay, I'm asking you. Yo le pregunto a usted, okay? Do you live in the countryside? 
Yes, I do or no, I don't. Okay, so what is countryside? What is the meaning? Campo. 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 Mario? Eh, sería, do you know? The... Okay, so Mario, yo le voy a preguntar a usted. Do you live in the countryside? Usted me responde, yes, I do or no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Very good. Um, let me see. Um, Tatiana Abigail, do you live near the sea or the mountains? I live in... Okay. Uh, I didn't hear that. Well, Tatiana, no le escuché la respuesta, ¿ok? So. Sí, sí creo que se le se corta. Ok, eh, José Alejandro. Eh, Misa, I have uh, one question. Yes. Eh, creo que podría repetir, eh, vaya, por, por ejemplo, house, eh, sé qué es, pero flat, no entiendo muy bien okay. la referencia, ni tom. CTC, uh, countryside también, in neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood. very good. Good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes, of course. So let's see, guys. Okay, pay attention, guys. So house, you know what is the, a house? A house is una casa. Flat means apartamentos. Los apartamentos. Yes. The town el pueblo, yes, city, la ciudad, countryside, el campo, sí, ya sabemos que es el mar, mountains, ya sabemos que son las montañas, y neighborhood, vecindario, en, en nuestro idioma diríamos como colonia, yes, la colonia donde vivimos, neighborhood, Yes, pero también se puede decir vecindario, okay? Very good. Eh, Tatiana Abigail, do you live near the sea or the mountains? No, I'm speaking. Ooh. Okay, so I don't know, okay? Okay, eh, Alexandra, do you live near the sea or the mountains? I live near the, the mountain. Mountains, very good. Liliana del Tránsito, uh, do you like your neighborhood? Yes, I do, sería, ¿verdad? Yes, muy bien, very good, excellent, yes, I do, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, so now, uh, this is just vocabulary, okay? Vocabulario, vocabulary, yes? Let's move, and now we are going to start with unit number seven. So the name of this unit is going to be, does it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, so we have house and we also have apartment. So guys, another way to say apartamentos, apartment, yes, or apartments, yes. So we have a house and we also have apartment. Yes. So as you can see right here, yes. Disculpe, teacher, se puede entonces decir de ambas maneras, apartment or flat. Correct. Ambas maneras están correctas. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now let's see. Let's look at the um, different rooms in a house. Okay, so how do you say recámara o habitación? Bedroom. Bedroom. Yes, bedroom. Yes, how do you say pasillo? Hall. Hall. Yes, like this. Miren, así como está escrito aquí. Hall. Pasillo, okay? The hall. The hall. Yes, el pasillo. Now, how do you say las escaleras o las gradas, right? We call them stairs. Stairs. 
Yes, stairs. Yeah. Then we also have the bathroom. Yes. We have closet. Okay, if you have closet. Yes, we also have the garage. Yes. We also have the laundry room. The laundry room es donde se lava la ropa. Laundry room. Yes. La lavandería. Yes, algunas casas sí tienen como un cuartito donde usted solo lava ropa. The laundry room. Yes. We also have kitchen, which is cocina. The dining room. Ok, pronunciación, no dining. Dining room. Yes. Dining room. And we also have living room. Living room, which is la sala. El dining room es donde usted eat. You eat in the dining room. Comedor. Es el comedor. Very good. Now, guys, in Spanish we say primera planta y segunda planta, right? In English is first floor and second floor. Yes? So primera planta se dice first floor Y segunda planta se dice second floor. Yeah. So then we also have the apartment. Um, in the apartment, we have the bathroom. Yes. We have the bedroom. We also have closet. We can have dining room. We can have living room. We can have kitchen. And we can have elevator. Yes, elevator. And look at this. We also have the lobby. What is the meaning of lobby, guys? What is the meaning of lobby? What is lobby? Eh, en la sala. Okay. It could, um, in the apartment, could be eh, como... Sí, la sala, pero es como el recibidor. Ajá. La como un vestíbulo. Correcto. Pero es como un recibidor. Yes. Un lobby. Yes, como una recepción. So now let me ask you something, guys. Um, what rooms are in your house? What rooms of those in your house? Which ones? Bedroom, bathroom. What do you have? Mm. Well, I have bedroom, three bedroom, mm. dining um, room, three bathroom, three bathrooms, dining room. Okay. Uh, one stairs. Okay, stairs. 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 stairs uh, three closet. Okay, three closets. Um, one garage. Okay, one garage. Okay, perfect. One living room. Okay. One. One kitchen. One kitchen. Do you have a yard? No. No. Uh, yes. First floor. Yes. Oh, okay, first floor. Yes. Okay, you have um, a yard. outer room. Okay. Nothing more. Okay, very good. What about you, Alexandra? In my case, I live in the second floor. Okay. And just have, it's like an apartment. Okay. Uh, I have a bedroom, living room. Okay. The kitchen and dining room. Como se dice, es pequeño. It's a small. It's a small. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, somebody else that wants to share their rooms? ¿Alguien más? No? Okay. So let's see. So I'm going to ask. Yo voy a preguntar a alguien más. Okay, so uh, Elizabeth Pineda, what about in your house? Which rooms do you have? Um, it's second floor. Okay. And first floor is kitchen. Okay. <laughs> yes, kitchen. And living room. Yes. Eh, el espacio para lavar, ¿cómo se pronunciaba? Laundry room. Laundry room. 
In the second floor is three bedroom. Okay, three bedrooms. And, and three baños. Okay, ¿cómo se dicen baños? Mire, bathrooms. Bathroom, sí. Very good, bathrooms. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, el espacio, el pasillo. Hall. Hall. In very good. In a hole. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's move. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Linda and the other one is going to be Chris. Raise your hand. Okay. I'm Chris. Okay. Jose and Astrid Gabriela. Okay. Jose, you are Chris and Astrid, you are Linda. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. What great, what's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. What is it? Oh, Lake View Drive. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Dustin, it have a bean? Yes, I do. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Yes, it does. Thank you. Okay. Does it have a view? What is the meaning of that? Does it have a view? ¿Qué significa esa pregunta? Si yo le digo, does it have a view? Es como, como si tienes una vista. A view, vista. Yes, si tienes una buena vista, right? Ok. Lo que uno siempre pregunta, ¿verdad? Como tiene buena vista, right? So, does it have a view? Uh -huh. Very good. Eh, José Alejandro, um, does it have a view? Your house, talking about your house, does it have a view? No, I don't have a, uh, a very view. good view. Okay, a very so good I, I see to other house. Oh, you see other houses. Okay, all yeah. right. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, very good. So now let's continue, okay? Well, in this case, uh, just vocabulary, okay? Guess what? What is this expression? What is the meaning? Guess what? Adivina, adivina que? Adivina que, okay? Guess what? Adivina qué. Yes, cuando usted le quiera decir a su compañero, adivina qué. Guess what? Yes, I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? Okay. It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Ese es el lugar. Ok. Ese es el lugar. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yeah. Pronunciation. Now, let's take a look at the main topic for today. This is the grammar focus. Ok. So, guys, it says, look at this. Ok. Let me see. It says, um, okay, just let me, yes. Simple present short answers. Yeah. Eh, volunteers to read this. Voluntario para leer este cuadrito. Volunteer. Okay, Fabiola. Got it. Volunteer. Me, coach. Okay. Uh. Tatiana? Yes. Okay, go. Um, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do the bedrooms have a windows? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Uh, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, I 
Yes, I does. No, I doesn't. Okay, thank you. This one is it. 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 Yes. All right. Very good, guys. The simple present with the short answers, right? So do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Short answers. Respuestas cortas. Yes. Teacher, y entonces si yo digo, yes, I live in an apartment. Es incorrecto. No, está correcto. O sea, ambas maneras están correct. Both. Pero usted debe de, um, en ocasiones, utilizar nada más short answers, right? Porque son las sí o no. ¿Ya? Yeah? Es lo único que la otra persona tal vez le está preguntando. Entonces, vamos a decir, yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes? Now, um, take a look at this. Remember about um, auxiliary verbs, right? So we have do for you. ¿Para quiénes es do? For I, you, we, and they. And thus, for he, she, and it. it. Very it. good. All right. So now, as you can see, we have does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, short answers. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, guys, let's complete the conversation. Let's see. Vamos a completar. So, do you live in an apartment? No, no I, I don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Continue. I, I live have. in a house. Very good. I live in a house. Okay. Linda, huh? Does it? Mm -hmm. Does it? Okay. A yard. It have, have a yard. Very good. Does it have a yard? Okay. Tiene un jardín, un park, right? Very good. Yes, it does. 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 Yes, it does. Does, does, does. Okay. That sounds nice. Mm. Do you live alone? Excellent. Do you live Alone, okay. Uh -huh. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Continue, huh? I, I live, live with, my with my family. Excellent. I live with my family. Linda. Do you have? Do you have? Any brothers or sisters? Yes, I? Yes, I do. Do, do. very good. I, I have. I have. Excellent. I have, okay. I four have sister. four sisters. Very good. That's a big family. Es una familia grande. That's a big family. Huh? Do you do have? You, do you have a big family? Huh? Excellent. Do you have a big house? Uh -huh. Yes, we yes. We, we have mm, yes, we does. have ten mm, rooms. Okay, yes. so do you okay, do you have a big house? Yes, we have no has no. No. Has two. Okay. Do okay. Yes, we. Yes, do. I do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, very good. Yes, yes we, we do. I sorry. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, we it, do. Uh -huh. I it have. It has. It has. Yes. It has very good. Yes. 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 Oh yes. It has ten rooms. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Diez cuartos. Ten rooms. Uh -huh. ah, ten rooms. 
This is it. Does it? Aha, does it? Yes. The rooms. Does it? Has. Has. Has, no. No puede ser has. Have. 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 Many verbs. Yes, porque llevamos el auxiliar das. Entonces, ese tiene que ir en su forma base. Perdón, este yes. auxiliar dos. Das, ¿qué es? Perdón. Das. Uh -huh. Es el auxiliar del presente simple. Ah, uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. Sí, ok. Bye. Entonces, yes, it. Yes, it does. does. Yes, it does. Y el que me tenga un problema. No worry, ok. And then, it. It has. No. It has. Ahora sí utilizamos has porque no llevamos el auxiliar. Solamente está it has for. Ok. Andrés, agua. Ok. So, Linda. Uh -huh. Do you. Do. Do you. Have. Have. Yes, do you have your own bedroom? You have your own bedroom. Yes. yes, I do. I do. I'm really lucky. Yes? Yes. Very good. I do. Yes, I do. Guys, do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? Tienen dudas? Teacher, it's a beautiful house. It is a beautiful house, right? Yes, that is correct. Beautiful and big, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Picture is solo para um, creo, creo que tiene problemas de conexión, Alexandra. Sorry. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Sí, hoy sí. El has es más que todo eh, solo para terceras personas. Yes. Um, vaya, algo que vamos a, les voy a, a compartir mi pantalla para que eh, veo que en eso tal vez podamos tener como dudas. ¿tá? Vaya, fíjense bien. Cuando nosotros utilizamos el verbo tener, tenemos have y tenemos has. ¿tá? Ok. Entonces... Sabemos que la regla general, guys, the general rule is going to be the have, I, you, we, and they. So that means I have, you have, we have, they have. Y quiere decir yo tengo, tú tienes, nosotros tenemos, sí. ellos tienen. Sí. Ok, so has is for he, she, sí. and it. Sí. So, él tiene, ella tiene, eso tiene. ¿Sí? Esas son las reglas generales. Entonces, uh -huh. como recordemos que en el presente simple tenemos oraciones positivas, yes, positive sentences, negative sentences, and we also have questions. ¿Está? Yes. Entonces, yes. ok, so we have subject plus verb plus Ajá, complement. Esa es la estructura normal, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo quiero decir, uh, ¿nosotros tenemos cuatro gatos? I have four cats. Oh, ¿nosotros? We, uh, we, we have, have, we have, we have four cats. Four cats. Four cats. Si yo quiero decir, ¿ella tiene diez gatos? He has. Si se fija que en la positiva sí se hace la diferencia. Yes, mire, se yes. cambia, ¿ve? Bye. Ahora, what happens with the negative? So we have subject plus auxiliary verb. Aquí ven, venimos con los verbos auxiliares. Y si se recuerda, ¿cuáles son? Do not or does not. That's not. Verb in base form. Verbo en su forma base. Yes. And complement. Okay. So.
gato. Si yo quiero decir, nosotros no tenemos cuatro gatos. We, we have, have done four. We doesn't have. We doesn't. We doesn't. We doesn't have, have four cats. No, cats. vaya. Vamos con lo siguiente, entonces. Vaya. Ok, tenemos verbos auxiliares do y también tenemos does y también tenemos el negativo do not y tenemos el negativo does not, ¿verdad? ¿Para qué pronombres utilizamos do not? He, she, is, I, you, we, they. Muy bien. Lo utilizamos para I, you, you we, and they. they. Muy bien. Bye. Entonces lo utilizamos para ellos. Y el does or does not para he, she, she, he, he it, he, and it. Muy bien. It. Terceras personas. ¿Está? Va, entonces vamos, volvamos oh. aquí. Y entonces, ¿cómo sería? We do not, do not have we, uh -huh. we, do not. we do not have four cats. cats. Muy bien. Entonces, ahora, si yo quiero decir, ella no tiene diez gatos. She does not have cats. She does not have cats. Ok, uno dice has y otro dice have. Muy bien, en este no caso has. es donde quiero que ponga atención. Has. No es has, va a ser have. ¿Por qué? Porque está lleva negativo. el verbo auxiliar y está en negativo. Solamente en el positivo es donde vamos a hacer este cambio. Del verbo tener. ¿Sí? Oh. Aquí, she does not have ten cats. Yeah. ¿Sí? Oh. Vale, ¿ok? Y luego tenemos las preguntas. Que en esto, auxiliary verb. Y por verbo auxiliar, ya sabe que conocemos do o das. ¿verdad? Plus, subject, plus, verb in base form, plus complement. Y no se olvide del question mark, sino de interrogación. ¿Cómo se dice? Question, question mark. mark. Question mark. Now, si yo le quiero preguntar. Question mark. ¿Tenemos nosotros cuatro gatos? Do we, do we, have, do we, have, have, we have? Do we have? Do we have four cats? ¿Y cuáles son las posibles respuestas? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. We do. We do. Yes, we do. We We do. We do. Muy bien. Ahora, entonces, si yo quiero preguntar, ¿tiene ella 10 gatos? Does she have 10 cats? Does she have 10 cats? ¿Y cuáles son? She have 10 cats. Respuesta. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she doesn't. No. Yes, she does. She does. Or... No, no, no. It, it, does, it, doesn't. Doesn't. it doesn't. Ok, yeah. very good, excellent. Now, guys, vaya, fíjense en lo siguiente. Mire cómo yo he puesto las respuestas cortas. Yes, coma, we do, period. Yes, así tiene que escribir las respuestas cortas. Con una coma después de yes o después de, aquí me equivoqué, mire, o después de no. No tiene que omitir eso, porque esas son sin, eh, signos de puntuación, son reglas. Entonces, yes, we do, no, we don't. We don't. Siempre lleva la coma después de yes o después de no y el punto y final. ¿Ok? Do you have any question? ¿Tiene preguntas acerca de esto? No. No. No, teacher, thank you. 
Ok, very good. Now, let's move. Vámonos de nuevo a la clase. Ok, al libro. Ok, ya ahora vamos a movernos a vocabulary. Ok, so let's see. This one, listen and repeat. Ok, so we have armchairs. Armchairs. Arm and what are our armchairs? Miren, los sillones que se le, um. se le llaman. Armchairs son los donde se sienta uno nada más, los chiquitos. Armchairs. Ese es el sofá el grande. Chair. El sofá es el grande. Muy bien. Uh -huh. So we also have, ¿cómo se dice cocina? Es stove. 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 Stufa. Oh. Yes, stove. okay. Then we also have table. Table. Yes, and we also have coffee table. The little table. one, okay. La pequeñita, the coffee table. Yes. Mire donde usted pone los libros si es que tiene. Se llama bookcase. Bookcase. Book yes. Look at this one. Dresser. Dresser. Mire. Dresser. Dresser. Yes. We also have chairs. chairs. Ok. Vaya pronunciación. No es chairs. Es chairs. 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 Con una E larga. Chairs. 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 Ok. Ya no quiero que diga chairs, ¿ok? Va a decir chairs. Chairs. Very good. Now we chairs. also have microwave oven. Microwave Do you have a microwave oven? Do you have? Yes. Yes. Yes, ¿ok? Yes. ¿Ok? Yes, I do. We, oh, yes, microwave. I do. Very good. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Mm -hmm. Oven. Yes, Oven. we also have curtains. 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 <laughs> yes. Pictures. Okay. Pictures. Do pictures. you have pictures on the walls? Do you have pictures? Yes. Yes, yes I do. All right. Do you have a clock? Yes, a clock. Many clocks. Okay. A you clock. have many. Okay. We also have bed. We also no, have I don't have. <laughs> You don't yes. have a bear? <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, of course. So is it okay? <laughs> then we also have lamps. Okay, lamps. Lamp. Okay. Do you have lamps? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, all right. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> then we also have desk. El escritorio, mire. Desk. Yes. All right. The sofa is the big one, as you said. The before. office. Yes, the <laughs> sofa. Okay. We also have mirror. Do you have mirrors? How many yes, mirrors do. do you have? How many mirrors? Yes, uh, one. I have three mirrors. Three mirrors. Eight mirrors. Okay. Mirror. Okay. Then we also three, have three mirrors. Rug. Rug. What is I don't the rug? Have a rug. You don't have alfombra. a rug? Okay, alfombra. Do you alfombra. have a rug? Do no. you have? No? No, I don't no. have. No, I oh. No, I don't. ¿Cómo se dice atrae mucho polvo? Oh, so you can say it has a lot of dust. It has a little dust. A, a lot of dust. A, a lot little dust. dust. Yes, a lot of, a lot of. Yes, a, a lot of dust. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And we also have television, okay? Do you have a television? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. I do. Two uh -huh. televisions. Two televisions, okay? Plural, televisions. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Now let's move class activity, okay? All right. So let's see. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Tenemos que poner el auxiliar para cada sujeto y después vamos a responderla con respuestas cortitas, lo que acabamos de estudiar. Ok. So, do or does. The first one. Do or does. Do. 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 Ok. All right. So, do the boys two. like music? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do the boys like music? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, no. They do. Yes, they do. Okay. They Very do. good. Number two. Does, does, he, does, play does play the guitar? The guitar? Okay. Does he play the guitar? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. 
Doesn't. Pronunciation. Doesn't. Okay. Number three. Do. 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 Do they want to work? Okay. Yes, they do. Yes, they yes, do. They do. Okay. Perfect. Number four. Does Jack often clean the bedroom? Okay, does, very good. Does, does often clean the, the, the bedroom? The bathroom. Yes. Bathroom. Bathroom. Yes. 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 He does. Okay. Number five. Do, do you speak English? English. English? Huh? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. So, so. <laughs> a little. Oh, no, yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> number six. Okay, number six. Uh -huh. Do. 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 Harry said, yeah. Do. 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 Harry live in Sydney? No, they. No, they don't. No, they not. No, they don't. They don't. Very good. No, they don't. Okay, next. Okay. Does Olivia have a sister? Does Olivia have a sister? No. No. no, no she she doesn't. doesn't. She, she doesn't. doesn't. Very good. Next one. Do. Do does the museum, the museum open every day? Excellent. Does the museum open every day? Yes. Yes. yes it, 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 does. it does. It does. It does. Very good. And number nine. Do you do, you do the shopping? Do you, do the shopping? Do you do the shopping? No. No, they no. don't. Don't. No, they don't. Mm, do no. you do the shopping? Do you do? Do you do? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. ¿Qué no, estás no. comprando? No, do you do the shopping? Do. ¿Tú las compras? ¿Dónde se compras? Ah, do you... están preguntando. ¿Haces, ¿Haces las compras? Do you do the shopping? Cuando no, le no. preguntan, do, do, uh, do you do the shopping? Le están preguntando, ¿hacen las compras en general? Porque nosotros, cada quien se, bueno, algunos tienen la costumbre de ir al súper, a comprar las cosas de la casa, entonces a eso se refiere. Do you do the shopping? Do you do. Uh, do you do. Ok. ¿Haces tú las compras? Ok. Very good. Ok. Do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Tiene dudas? Do que falta do una. Do? Ah, yes, falta una, pero ok, la este pueden ver. No. Ahí. Es que creo que no la ven. Ahí está. Yes, es yeah. tú. Ahora sí. Do. Do. Do the Smith Sells Cars. No la veo. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. don't. Muy bien, ok, excelente. Bien, ¿qué es el do? Pregunta José. Bien, el do aquí, vaya, recuerde que en este caso, fíjese bien, el do aquí es el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Pero este es el verbo Pero... de hacer. Entonces, ¿haces tú las compras? Las compras. The shopping. The shopping. No, I don't. No. ¿Ok? Muy bien. De hacer, uh, y make es. Hacer también, pero en este caso, make y do son hacer ambos, pero los utilizamos para contextos diferentes. Uh -huh. eh, hacer las compras es como una actividad que usted hace. Y el make se utiliza para process, ¿ok? Como procesos. Uh. Como make the lunch, make breakfast, make dinner, hacer la cena, hacer el almuerzo, hacer el desayuno, porque usted cocina, lleva un proceso, calienta el sartén y así, pica los vegetales, etc. No es un proceso. Make. Ahí es make. Cuando lleva procesos es make. ¿Ok? Bye. Entonces, guys. Eh, do you have any other doubt? ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Si no, hay algo que quiero que se ponga bien atención en esto. 
Si usted se fija en las respuestas, fíjese bien, dice, yes, they do, yes, he does, yes, I do. Entonces, el único pronombre que lleva letra mayúscula, a pesar que vaya después de la coma, es I. Los demás, no, mire, todos van con letra minúscula, ¿ve? ¿Sí? El I don't, el de la número nueve. El de la número, ah, ese también va mayúscula, ¿ve? I. Todos, Solo el I. I, todos los I van con mayúscula. Correcto, todos. Y eso es para toda la vida. Porque en realidad el pronombre más importante del idioma inglés y como en español debe de ser yo. I. Hasta como en la vida, usted es lo más importante. Entonces lo más importante es I, yo. ¿Ok? Entonces por eso es de que siempre va a ir con letra mayúscula. No importa en qué posición vaya I. Siempre va a ir con letra mayúscula. Los demás únicamente si comienza la oración o la pregunta va con letra mayúscula. De lo contrario, va siempre en minúscula. ¿Ok? Entonces, yes. Bye. Ok, guys. Entonces, eh, nadie vaya a poner el pronombre hay en minúscula nunca. Siempre acuérdese que ese siempre toda la vida va a ir en mayúscula. Si no es un error gramatical. Okay. Vale. Let's move, ok? Nos vamos a mover a los ejercicios, ok? It says, complete the sentences, use don't or doesn't. Number one. Sería don't or doesn't. Don't. 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 I don't. I don't. Number two. Don't. They don't. They don't. don't. Or doesn't. Don't. 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 Muy bien, ok. Number three, don't or doesn't. Don't. 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 Are you sure? ¿Están seguros? Doesn't. Or doesn't. ¿Tú quieres ver ya? ¿Tú no quieres ver? Ajá. Or doesn't. We don't or we doesn't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Okay, doesn't know. Sarah, number four. Doesn't. 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 Okay. Number five. Him. He doesn't. doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. Number six. You don't. You don't. You don't. Okay. Number seven. My sister doesn't. Doesn't number eight. We don't. We don't. We don't. 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 In London. Nine. My friend. My friend. Don't. 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 Carlos number ten. Doesn't. Doesn't. Number eleven. I don't. I don't. don't. I don't. Muy bien. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Bye. Ahora vamos con el siguiente ejercicio. It says, circle the correct form of do, then answer. Okay. Vamos a, a, a encerrar. Okay. What do or does you do? What, what do you do? do? What do, do? do you do? do? Excellent. What do Number you do? two. Where do you study? Where do you study? Where do you study? Where does or where do? Do. Where do. Where do. do. You study. Ok, do, porque acuérdese, utilizamos do con qué pronombres? I, I, I we, 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 Number three. What, what does, does your father do? do? What does your father do? Porque your father is persona, es he. Ok, eso es das. Number four. Where do you father work? Where, where does your where father does work? Ok, where do you or where does your? Where, where does, does your father work? Where, where does, does, your, does, father work? Where does that. your father work? Porque es tercera persona. Está preguntando de su papá y su papá es he, él. 
Muy bien. Number five. What, what do, do you mother and sister do? Excellent. Do, do, porque estamos hablando de plural. Your brother they. and sisters, they. Muy bien, entonces es do, no puede ser das. Y la última, where do your parents live or where does your no parents puedo ver, no. live? Where do. Where do. Do, ok. Where do your parents live? Very good. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Tiene dudas? Solo podría repetir la regla del, del do y el does. Yes, con, con esta, con la tres, supongo. ¿O cuál? ¿La regla normal? No, no, no. La regla normal, la regla normal del uso del do y del does. Ah, yes. Ok, so uh, we have do and we have does, right? Entonces, utilizamos do cuando, guys. Con I, 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 you, we, they, we, they, they, does, he, she, and it, and it, and it. Esa es la regla y como acordémonos que también tenemos un negativo, entonces el do not es para I, you, we, and they, y el does not va a ser para he, she, and it. Ok, todo claro. Gracias. All right. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda o pregunta? No? Ok. Very good. Entonces, voy a tomar la asistencia. Ok. Y después vamos a hacer el quiz que vamos a realizar este día. Ok. Say present. Ok. Diga presente cuando escuche su nombre. Give me one second. Ok. Eh, Alexandra Giselle Corena. Present. Thank you. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Present. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Damaris Milagro Hernández. Damaris Milagro. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda. Present. Thank you. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Fabiola Yamilet Díaz. Present. Thank you, Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Present. Thank you, Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you, Jose Alejandro Flores López. Present. Thank you, Katia Mayerli Granados Jiménez. Present. Thank you, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present. Thank you, Manuel Alexander Áviles Chacón. Present. Thank you, María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Mario Ernesto Guevara. Mercedes Isabela Acevedo. Present. Thank you, Mirna Yamilet Reyes. Mirna Yamilet. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Present. And Jane Lisbeth Colosa Cortés. Present. Thank you. Ok. Bye, guys. Vamos a tomar el examen. Bueno, este es un pequeño quiz que vamos a hacer de todo lo que hemos visto del presente. Simple. Sí. Bye. Entonces, aquí, ahí está el link y la contraseña es Grammar. Grammar, ¿ok? Cuando yo lo, ter lo he terminado, ah, me dice, ¿ok?
Recuerda que tienen que poner la letra mayúscula, la grammar, el, el, la contraseña, porque si no, no lo va a dejar entrar. Yo terminé. Ok, I... Very good. Let me see. Let me see. Ok. Ok. Very good. Let me see. I finished, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Estoy viendo los, los errores que hemos tenido. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Um, ya eh, estoy viendo las, um, las calificaciones. Um, el día de mañana vamos a resolver este examen, pero eh, quiero, en este momento quizá vamos a, a dejarle tarea, ¿ok? De oraciones negativas, de las oraciones negativas, porque fíjese de que estoy viendo que en la que hemos fallado es en la número dos. Vale, le voy a compartir mi pantalla para que vea antes de ir, ¿ok? Fíjense bien, acá eh, la, la mayoría, quizás como dos personas únicamente seleccionaron la respuesta correcta. Si es negativa, no puede ser she doesn't eat 
porque que dice la regla que va en su forma base, no se le agrega a la letra S, a las negativas. Recuerde que va el verbo en su forma base, ya lo vimos con el have, que no ponemos has, ponemos have. Únicamente en la positiva es que ponemos con la letra S. ¿Ok? Entonces, el día de mañana me hace tres oraciones negativas, ¿ok? Para el día de mañana. Se la voy a preguntar, ¿ok? Bye. Entonces, guys, el día de mañana los veo. Thank you very much for connecting today. Gracias por conectarse, ¿ok? I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night, ¿ok? Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.